Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and probate attorney in New York. Today's topic, how many agents should I name in my power of attorney? Before I get to that, if you would like to make an appointment with me, you could go to my scheduling page at frankbrunolaw.com. Today's topic, how many agents? One or two is the recommended number. So in the power of attorney, you appoint someone that will step in your shoes uh, for all financial decisions, right? And uh, I've referenced the person as an agent. It's actually an attorney in fact, and that person uh, has the ability to stand in your shoes. One or two people can be mentioned. Um, it's probably a good idea to have two people. We could speak to the specifics uh, as why and your family dynamic, whether or not it's uh, advisable. Overall, whether it be one or two people, the person you pick should be someone that you could trust, clearly, right? That's the, that's the mandate. It should also be someone, wherever possible, that uh, has good communication skills, can communicate effectively with the family, the reason for that is because I have seen a person that's a, uh, a fantastic agent, in fact, but there's suspicion in the family because that person isn't explaining things or is not uh, having conversations with the family. So that's something that, that should be uh, thought of in advance. Pick a person that you can trust, and if it coincides with a person that, of course, also could communicate well with the family, so much the better. Now, uh, a reason you might have two people is because um, for convenience, uh, for uh, effectiveness, uh, give a scenario. Um, a husband names his uh, wife and his son as the uh, power of attorney, uh, as his agent within the power of attorney. Uh, maybe the, the husband becomes afflicted with dementia, he becomes demented, and the wife is undertaking uh, payment of bills and obligations and utilizing the power of attorney. And then along the way, she gets tired. She gets uh, overrun, and she wants to have the adult son take over. If he was only the successor rather than a, uh, a co-agent, the mother would have to resign. But then in the event that the son uh, was out of town on a trip to Europe, on a business uh, obligation, uh, and was unable to perform the duties, at least for an interim period of time, the mother had already resigned if he was the successor, right? So it would make sense to, to be uh, in it with a second person to assist. The power of attorney is a, uh, it's a very useful document. It could be the most important document uh, to avoid uh, a guardianship and to uh, assist when uh, a person's out of town or out of their mind. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to me. You can email me at frank at frankbrunolaw.com.